Hi, hi friends, it's Nikki. I am back today with another grocery haul. So this week I'm, I have a few different recipes that I got the stuff to make. I am making a couple of sides. This week I'm doing a pound dropper low point macaroni and cheese. I'm also doing some air fried zucchini with like a almond flour crust. I'm making a turkey sausage meatball recipe, a skinny chili cheese dog casserole, which I'm making some zero point homemade chili for. And finally, I'm going to be making a creamy poppy seed chicken casserole. So let's get turned around so I can show you all what the haul consisted of this week. This is all from HEB with the exception of two very small items, which I got from Target. I will show you those as we get to them. All right, so here we have the weekly cilantro. I do eat a lot of cilantro. <laughs> we always joke that in this house there's two things we measure with our hearts and that's garlic and cilantro. So um, I did get this for my Sunday dinner. My brother is supposed to come visit this weekend so we're gonna make taco soup and we just like to get the cilantro to just garnish on the top. That's also why I got the avocados um, I got two pounds of ground turkey breast, the 99% lean. Um, one pound is for the taco soup, and the other pound is for the zero point chili that I'll be making. Um, this is a Hebrew National 97% fat free beef franks. This is for the chili cheese dog casserole. These are the zucchini that I got for the zucchini fries that will be made in the air fryer. Let's come back here. We've got a can of black beans. These are for the chili. Chili powder was almost out, so I went ahead and grabbed a new container. Um, this pinto beans is for the taco soup. Uh, the, these were an afterthought, by the way, after I'd already submitted my order, I was like, oh, wait, I need something to eat for dinner on uh, Saturday night. So, um, I added this on, which is why I have this other pinto beans in the two cans. Um, so these are for the chili. Kidney beans for the chili. Fire roasted diced tomatoes are for the chili. Um, I have one packet of ranch dressing mix and one mild taco seasoning, 30% less sodium. These are both for the taco soup. I got this 100% whole wheat elbow pasta for the, uh, the pound dropper mac and cheese. And that is also what the Fritos cheese dip is for. I think I only need like a cup of this, but I just wasn't sure how much were in these tiny little containers, which is why I got two. I got a reduced fat peanut butter. I was almost out, so I went ahead and got another one. I really wish they made this or stocked this in the bigger size. Um, this one is only a 16 ounce jar. Uh, but for some reason, even though I'm allergic to peanut butter, I we just tend to eat a lot of it. So anyway, um, I did find this fat-free cream cheese at ATB this week, which is something that I've had a really hard time finding, like at Walmart, at Sam's, wherever. Um, I think this is for the creamy poppy seed chicken casserole. Uh, I did get... Um, I had to restock my organic skim milk, so uh, HEB did have the Horizon brand for that. I also got a, another small container of the Faye 0% milk fat Greek yogurt, and I stocked back up on the fat-free cottage cheese. I have the reduced fat crescent rolls. This is also for the chili cheese dog casserole. I think I forgot to mention the turkey sausage. This is for the sausage meatballs, by the way. Uh, let's come this way. So I did get two pounds of fresh strawberries. These are 
These will be gone before half of the week is over. We just eat so many fresh strawberries. Sid loves them. He wakes up asking for strawberries and he goes to bed asking for strawberries. So I also got this 2% uh, reduced fat cheddar cheese I'm gonna shred for one of the recipes. I think all of the recipes calls for cheese this week. This one is the reduced fat Mexican shredded blend for probably more than one of the recipes as well. I did restock on my minced ginger paste. We use that when we make the egg roll in a bowl and it is so, so, so good. We use more than it calls for and it's delicious. I did have to restock on my unsweetened applesauce. I use this instead of oil in my baking recipes so I tend to run out of it pretty quickly. I did restock on my crystal light. I get the strawberry and the grape with caffeine. You'll notice I got two giant things of old fashioned oats. One of them is for the oatmeal and one of them is to make oat flour because I use oat flour when I bake and it reduces the points significantly. I also got panko seasoning, uh, or I'm sorry, <laughs> seasoned panko for one of the recipes. I got this fat-free chicken broth and I went ahead and got two of them just because we kind of use it here and there, but I got this for the chili recipe just to add some flavor. Um, let's come up here. I got, I ordered just a regular coleslaw, but for some reason I guess they were out, so they subbed it for this Fiesta lime. And I'm really hoping that the lime is just the little package of dressing inside that we're not gonna use anyway. But this is for making egg roll in a bowl and putting in like just lunch wraps and spring rolls and things like that throughout the week. This chicken is for the creamy poppy seed chicken casserole. And then I have some ground chicken beneath that for egg roll in a bowl. We tend to make that like every weekend because it's just so good. I got this peas and carrots frozen for the creamy poppy seed chicken casserole. Baby Normandy blend mixed vegetables just for sides um, for the uh, meal prep for the different meals this week. I did have to restock on my carb balance flour tortillas because I'm down to like one tortilla left. I do eat these a lot for lunches during the week. I did stock sit up on his um, party size Lay's barbecue. Um, I did get some wavy barbecue Lay's and I am restocking on these baked Tostitos. Um, these are going really fast. Like we cook a lot with these with the recipes we're using and we also like we'll just eat them on the sides with some fresh zero point salsa and they just really make a great snack. Um, when you're hungry and you're craving something and you need something low points. On purple, 16 of these chips for like, I can't remember, like four points or something like that. So I did go ahead and get two boxes of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal for Sid. He ran out this week. This is the one he really likes to eat the most. And they had a coupon where you get a dollar off if you buy two. So um, I went ahead and bought it. We'll buy it again at some point sooner rather than later, so might as well get it while it's cheap. I did restock on the Eggland's Best Large Eggs. Of course, um, this is why I get this brand. It has the Omega-3. Um, it's 25% less saturated fat than regular eggs. This was from Target. I went ahead and got another package of these because this is so bad, y'all. I like the red and blue, but I kind of hate the kind of burgundy color and the green. So I bought, I mean, they're so cheap. They're like $10 and you're gonna reuse them over and over and over again. So I feel like they're worth the money, but I'm just gonna toss the green and burgundy ones and just have red and blue. I know, I'm ridiculous. Also from Target, I just got another set of some um, it's got water on it. Um, just some measuring spoons because I use them so often and I'm constantly having to wash. 
and reuse as I'm meal prepping on the weekends. So I just went ahead and got another set just to kind of have extras. And finally, um, I just restocked Sid with his um, little bath supplies. Um, we He still uses Johnson & Johnson. We tend to use um, one for like bubble bath and then one to actually like wash him with. That's just what he still likes to use, so that's what we do. And then the toothpaste fell on the floor. He, he was almost out, so we just restocked him on his kids crust toothpaste so anyway that is it for today i only spent 150 dollars this week for all of my recipes which of course i still have some stuff on hand that um, i didn't have to rebuy thankfully but making three different meals two different sides plus i will be also making the cinnamon oat bake muffins uh, and the pancakes that i made last week so all in all, I think an excellent haul today. Thank you, H-E-B. Thank you guys. Be sure and subscribe, like if you like this video and you want more meal prep videos. Mm -hmm.